Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite YouTuber, JL. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things money, finance, and entrepreneurship. Okay? Okay. In today's video, we are going to be talking about what I learned about money being homeless. Okay? Yes, that's what we're talking about in today's video. Just to give you guys a little bit of a background about me, I moved from Georgia to California. I feel like I say this in every single video. I moved from Georgia to California at 18 years old and due to uh some of the some stuff some unforeseen but really not unforeseen but kind of unforeseen events i ended up being homeless from the time i moved here in august all the way to may but before we jump into today's video if you have any money finance or entrepreneurship related questions send it in about a four to six sentence email to ashj101 at gmail.com make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it severely helps out my channel and without further ado i'm gonna tell you what i learned about money being homeless coming in at number one the very first thing that i learned about money is how to budget y'all when i moved out to california California, I brought two thousand dollars with me and due to the fact that I did not have a budget and I I, I knew what a budget was I just didn't have one at money that money was gone in three weeks okay I think I moved out here on August 19th by the time I started my job at McDonald's on September 11th I was completely out of money I had no more money left and that was due to the fact that I did not have any type of budget like I had no type of plan on how that two thousand dollars was going to be spent I just knew that was my spending money until I got a job in California because I wanted to be a way but I didn't end up working out and I had to end up getting a job at McDonald's when I finally ended up getting my room for rent not my apartment I know a lot of people inquire about my apartment but now I'm not talking about my apartment when I finally got my room for rent I had to come up with a budget so I was able to make my rent payments on time and still have money left over for food so my rent for my room for rent was $315 a week yes yes $315 a week and I had to budget out an extra $10 a day for food so in total it, it was $315 a week but I got paid every two weeks so it just made more sense to pay her every two weeks so I had to pay her $630 every two weeks for rent with an additional $10 a day that's $140 for two weeks for food so in total I had to come up with about $770 every two weeks that's every pay period so I had enough money to cover all of my expenses so overall I started to get a general idea of how much money I needed for rent how much money I needed for food how much money I needed to cover all of my everyday expenses so coming in at number one the first thing I learned about money is what what is a budget and how to budget coming in at number two the second thing that i learned about money is how to save for the uncertainty when you are homeless your life is very very unpredictable it is very very unstable when i was staying in this room for rent i found this room for rent through airbnb and she was like instead of paying um through airbnb you can just give me the money personally so you can stay here for a longer period of time but I was staying in a very, very popular area, so there would be times where if I didn't tell her, like, ahead of time that, hey, like, I want to book for the next week or I want to book for the next month or whatever, she would book out and I would not have any place to stay. She would tell me, like, yeah, I'm sorry, all my rooms are booked. Yeah, yeah, figure it out. And for the next two weeks or until she had a room available, I would probably, like, be duck so that $315 isn't gonna mean anything if that's not where I'm staying for the next two weeks so it was very important that I started to have just a little bit of cash put to the side just for the uncertainty that comes up for a less serious example let's say that I got sick and you know when you get sick money costs medicine so could you imagine if I had to take the $10 I was talking about that I had budgeted out every day for food and I had to choose between getting something to eat or buying myself some medicine. Could you imagine? 
That is why I had to learn the importance of unexpected expenses. An unexpected expense is any expense that you did not expect. So coming in at number two, the second thing that I learned about money is how to save for the uncertainty because there is a lot of uncertainty. Coming in at number three, the third thing, and I don't wanna say this is the most important thing, I don't, but this is the most important thing to me. Okay, this is what stand out, and this is, <laughs> coming in at number three, the third thing that I learned about money is the power of having good credit. Y'all, y'all, I had to close my eyes when I said that because it, it <laughs> y'all, I know y'all mad at me. They're like, boo, Jaya, all you do is talk about credit on this channel, boo, we don't wanna hear about it. But y'all, look, listen, listen, the power of good credit. Y'all, do y'all wanna know why I was homeless in the first place? It's because, not because I didn't have the money, because remember when I said I moved out here, I had $2,000. I had the money for my security deposit and my rent. I had a job. The, the reason I didn't have a place to stay is not because I didn't have any money. It's because I didn't have any credit. Nobody around me had good credit either. I had to calm down. These apartment complexes don't care if you have enough money. Okay, let me not say they don't care because sometimes they do care. Like in my situation, they did care that I was making way more than the rents. But the majority of these places, they don't care. If you don't pass that credit check, you will not get approved for the apartment. And nobody around me had good credit. I had just turned 18 in August when I moved. And I did not get approved for my first credit card. If you want to watch videos where I talk about my credit and how I didn't was applying for all these credit cards and wasn't getting approved because I didn't know I didn't know and I didn't get my first credit card until November and it takes six months to establish credit so I could not apply for any apartment or any place to stay because I did not have any credit and nobody around me had good credit so I couldn't get a co-signer so if you have bad credit or if you have no credit it is really hard to get approved for a lot of stuff. You can't do anything with bad credit or no credit. And it's like really hard. I mean, you can do some stuff. Like you can make a little some shake if you got bad credit. But it's really hard. It's a lot harder than if you just would have had good credit off the rip. That is something that I, that is a hard lesson that I learned at the rightful age of 18 years old. And I will keep it with me for the rest of my life. Good credit. Everybody be like, cash is king, yes, but credit is power. You can do a lot with credit and you can't do a lot with credit. So coming in at number three, one of the most important things, life lessons, not even about money, just in general, I learned the power of good credit. And last but not least, I feel like I couldn't talk about what I learned about money without talking about saving money. and. Coming in at number four is saving money and having money put to the side is better than having no money. When you're in this situation, you're in survival mode and saving money kind of is not a priority. It seems like it's a luxury. Saving money is something I'll do when I get my life together, but you end up never getting your life together. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you can save your way out of homelessness. That's not what I'm saying because where are you going to get the money to save anyways? But if you have extra money to save and you're in that survival mindset and you have extra money, your your two options come down to am I going to buy something to make myself more comfortable or am I going to put this money to the side for the future? And what I will always do is I will put the money to the side for the future because the money does come in handy. I know you're probably not thinking long term when you're in survival mode, but I learned that saving money and having money put to the side is better than having nothing. If it doesn't do anything for your current situation, at the very, very least, it will do something for your mental state, your state of mind. You feel like you have something to fall back on so you constantly don't feel like you have to be on edge. Like you have a cushion to fall back on and it's different from your emergency fund. Your emergency fund is for emergencies but your saving is like that's money like towards your name if that makes sense but i don't know but i just wanted to say the fourth and final thing that i learned about money is saving money and having money put to the side is better than having nothing and i know you're probably like jaya that sounds stupid you don't know what you're talking about but look okay i was homeless okay so i know what that mindset is like i know what it feels like to be in survival mode and trust me take my word for it just 
try it. Saving money and having money put to the side is better than having nothing for all those people out there that's like, I didn't save money, why didn't you save money for? Why didn't you save money for? Having money saved up is very important and I learned that being homeless, okay? So I genuinely hope that you enjoyed this video but more importantly, I hope you learned from this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because why didn't you, why wouldn't she wanna do that? And then leave a comment down below. Tell me about your experiences being homeless if you've ever been homeless before. I would love to read it. I would love to read your story. If you learned anything about money being homeless, I feel like that's so specific but please leave it down down below I would love to read it and make sure you subscribe because why wouldn't you want to subscribe we talking about money we talking about credit we talking about finances we talking about we're talking about homelessness we're talking about getting our savings right why wouldn't you want to subscribe to that please let me know tell me in the comments why wouldn't you want to subscribe to that okay period okay like comment subscribe and in the meantime stay strong because I love you because I love you because I love you